Hi everyone, I'm here again with the gut girl, Nicole. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. So we've done a few videos and talked a little bit, you know, off camera and the last couple of times we've talked about calories. We both hate the term calories in, calories out because it's misleading. It, it, it just sounds like, okay, I've got to starve myself. But I did a little research on some foods that you can eat and added up the calories. And that kind of motivated you to do a little research and look at some of your clients and calories, how many calories, what are the macros of certain foods when you're eating quality food compared to eating if you're eating junk. And the one I did last time, it was over 2000 calories and what, 16 grams of protein? Yeah. You know, uh, eating 2200 calories and 16 grams of protein, that's not good. No, <clears throat> not at all. So, so tell us what you did. Okay, so I took my typical day and one of my clients' typical days, when they very first came to me, what their typical day was and what they thought was pretty much no big deal and it was a daily thing. So, um, and I kind of went at it a little differently with, with calories and sugar intake because I don't think people understand what they're actually putting in as sugar intake. And I'm not, um, I'm not a keto, I mean, I'm, I'm, a little bit of everything really, but I'm not a just a staunch promoter of keto or something like that. So when you hear these, this is just a typical day of mine. Um, okay, but I'm gonna do my clients first. So jelly filled donut with a pumpkin spice frappuccino for breakfast. Okay, wait a minute. I have a question. Did you <laughs> go back and show them this after this comparison? Yes. Oh yes. man, I must have just blown them away. Just like it's I our audience. Okay. So really a jelly and they go, I'm, I, I didn't eat anything. I only ate three donuts. Right. Right. And, and really in what they, and, and, you know, not to, not to rip on them at all, but he, the person said to me, well, it's only one donut. That's like the equivalent of a bagel. I said, well, the, neither one of them's good for you. So don't use that as a comparison. <laughs> um, okay. Jelly filled donut and a pumpkin spice frappuccino. Small fry, Big Mac, and a Coke. A one cup of fettuccine Alfredo, one breadstick, and how many of us just eat one breadstick? So this number probably is larger. And one glass of red wine. Afterwards, going home, he had two third around two thirds of a cup of Rocky Road ice cream. Okay. His so not even a cup. Huh? Not even a cup of ice. Not cream. even a cup, which because he thought he was doing good by scaling back. Okay. So 2,234 calories, 132 grams of sugar. That's, that's diabetes in a day. <laughs> it's awful. So then you come to my typical day. Okay. And this is so surprising to me because I do not count calories. I don't. Um, and this is, you know, give or take in a day. Usually it's two large eggs, a cup of spinach, a fourth a cup of feta, and um, a tablespoon of nut pods in my coffee. So that is my morning breakfast. My lunch is a chicken breast, half of a sweet potato, and probably a cup of broccoli. I don't drink anything but water during the day, so I don't have anything liquid that I count as calories. A six ounce steak, one cup of rice, and one cup of asparagus. That's your that dinner? total. That's my dinner. Total calories is 1,288. My sugars are 11. <laughs> Put those two things into perspective, and that's why some people come to me and they're like, well, I just didn't think I was doing anything wrong. It's, I mean, it's a small donut, and it's it's really not all that bad. But when, when I went back and showed him this, because you actually kind of inspired me to do this, so I went back and showed him what this was, and he was like, what? <laughs> he was blown away by it. You know... It's like people think volume <clears throat> is calories. Well, I'm eating a small amount. And 
they never get the nutrients right. that their body needs to be healthy. You had broccoli and spinach. Mm -hmm. I mean, you ate a very well-rounded diet with the example. Those foods and the, you had some red meat, you had some chicken. Those are all nutrient dense foods. Right. You're getting vitamins and minerals that the donut and ice cream eater is not getting. Right. And that makes a huge difference. And then the next thing, protein. Yep. And that's the mistake. Look, I'm in my 60s. If I ate that for a week, I might be a diabetic in a week. Oh, yeah. Easily. Seriously. Yeah. Well, and that's I could no get away with it if I was 20, but I can't, I couldn't get away with that now. No, not at all. And and this person is in his early fifties. So neither can he, neither, uh, neither could I do that. I mean, my blood results are much different than his blood results. And that's kind of the, and you hit the nail on the head, the nutrient dense versus what his was, there was not literally... There was not one thing in here that I could say has a real packed punch of nutrient dense. He's barely got any protein in here. I mean, there's a terrible protein source because it comes from a Big Mac. And there was probably a little bit of chicken on his um, Alfredo. But other than that, it is empty calories. There's no nutrients. So what the body's in complete overdrive and really, Steve, if you think about this, I'm probably a little too low in my calories if we were calorie counting. And sure. he's he's pretty much spot on with his calories. So for a man, that's crazy to think of what is actually inside the diet of that day. Yeah, the example I gave one of the last times we talked is uh, 10 cups of broccoli, a pound of chicken breast, a whole pound. I mean, that's a couple chicken breasts and 10 <laughs> eggs and 10 eggs. That's only 1,880 calories, but it's 217 grams of protein. <clears throat> right. I use this example with my, my mother-in-law all the time. My wife said, mom, are you getting any protein? She said, yes. Kristen said, well, what did you eat? She said, I had an egg and some peanut butter. Wow. Yeah, it's part of the problem with people who are aging is they do not get enough protein. And that is what breaks down the body quicker. <clears throat> right. And that's, you know, my advice to most people, especially as they get older and, and even younger. When you're eating a lot of calories, the protein takes care of itself. If right. you're an athlete and you're eating 3,500 calories, you're probably going to get enough protein unless you're really eating junk. Right. Um, but if you're eating 2000 calories and you're not paying attention to your protein, I'll guarantee you, you're not getting enough. Oh yeah. yeah. And you think you are because the calorie intake is high, but you're not. Yep. And you think that you ate because you ate one, you know, this or that, you know, <clears throat> and you think that you ate a food that's known for protein. Um, yeah. I had a hamburger and two eggs. That's not enough protein in a day. Right. Not at not all. Maybe in a sitting. <laughs> yeah. You're looking at the eggs. Okay. That's 12 grams of protein. That's it in two eggs. Right. That's not enough protein. I mean, eggs are full of nutrients. Exactly. But, you know, I, I eat five or six eggs to make sure I get at least 30 or 36 grams of protein. And then I'm pounding the amino acids on top yep. of that. <clears throat> um but, you know, in a hamburger, you know, a <clears throat> five ounce hamburger, I mean, you're not, you're maybe up close to 30 grams of protein, you know, six With ounces. Combo, yeah. yeah, maybe, but that's not enough protein in a day. And no, not a. It's just a mistake people make. They don't get enough protein. And then they, well, I ate a protein bar too. Okay. That's 12 grams of protein. If somebody is counting calories and really being strict to macros and that helps them, what I always tell them is stop looking at the calories and make sure that you're getting enough protein in your day. If you're doing the macros, 
What you should be looking at is their protein intake because it's shocking to see how little protein people actually get. Right. And if you can get something that's protein dense, <clears throat> like I do this uh, protein shake, maybe I'll put the link in here, um, but it's my 73 gram protein drink. It's only 550 calories, but it's 73 grams of protein. Right. You know, Two scoops of protein, and it's my protein is it's a grass fed uh, beef isolate, mm -hmm. and then I put two eggs in it, and then I spike it with leucine on top yep. of that, yep. you know. Um, but that's only 550 calories and 73 grams of protein. So you need protein dense food. Those protein dense foods are like chicken, yep. um, steak, let's see, beef. shrimp, shrimp. Mm -hmm. Lean meats, fish, chicken, yep. shrimp, loaded with protein, cottage cheese. Yep. And if people would just eat clean foods and get enough protein, their health would change, don't you think? So oh, 100%. Yes. Even when most of my clients come to me and they are trying to change their diet, that's exactly what we talk about is just that. Let's start with the basics of getting back to clean foods and then let's move from there. Because once you say clean foods, that eliminates a lot of junk. So just focus on that for me while we clean up the gut and hormones and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I would challenge anybody to try to get <clears throat> try to get 2,500 calories in eating broccoli and chicken. Try to do yeah. it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's now, very difficult. If you're, you're going to eat potato chips and Twinkies and cake, it's easy. Oh, yeah. Very. <laughs> and fast food, you know, a oh, fast food fast. This, you know, you're looking boom, a thousand calories right there. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. With a thousand rancid oils in it. So Nicole, you said if people tell, say that they saw this, they reach out to you, you'll give them a hundred dollars off your initial program, which is, you know, you're going to read the blood work. You're going to do kind of the things that we're talking about here. So how do they get a hold of you? They can reach me at thegutgirl1 at gmail.com and just say that you saw one of these videos and I'll give $100 off the program. Great. Okay. Well, Nicole, thanks for being with us and we will talk to you next time. Thank you for having me.